The little squirrel cows beneath a leafy frond, peeping up at you through liquidy eyes that tremble with terror. Please, please don't step on me. My brother was stomped by that ugly bridge troll. I, I saw his eyeball pop. Go on then. Scion works. Huh? You do not disturb her. Behold, Cococo! Behold! It is I, the magic cockerel. Be not frightened by my splendor! I should certainly hope so. Oh, my life's work! has been for naught. Send the little block my way next time you happen upon him. I'd like to see what a fine specimen the magic cockroach has produced. Killed a wizard! That's right, cockroach! Doubt will serve you ill before the magic cockroach. None to talk to!
that's a good sort. I'll mourn her with my mourning. Go, 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 go! The rooster looks his son over, first with one beady eye, then the other. He has my eyes! But I see nothing but the void lurking behind those pretty peepers. Kill him now or he will get, get, go! Kill us all later! Papa! Cute as a buck, buck button! A button that could destroy us all! Whatever type of companion you need, I can provide. Expert warriors for hire, all seasoned in combat. They won't let you down. Buying or selling? Capital. Good luck to you.
about you, if you're polite, Elf. Nah. I'll take your order, if you're polite. The cook acknowledges you with a small bow and... Found something. Sir, you should not be back here. It's not safe. Cinnamon, not nutmeg. There's a food shortage in these parts. Fresh meat can be hard to come by. Liberal seasoning helps disguise all sorts of sins. Now, please, I must return to my work. She grabs the ring and glares at you, like a rattlesnake observing its next live meal. You should have just kept out of this. She gives you a defiant look. Magisters are a blight. They deserve worse than the death I gave them. I wouldn't taint the earth with their carcasses. Better that they vanish into unsuspecting stomachs. The cook shakes her head ruefully. You should have just forgotten about all of this. Your order, if you're polite, elf. Yeah. Ambition is
I'll yield to none. Take your order if you're polite. No. Nah. I'll take your order if you're polite. No. Take your order if you're polite. Help. The spirit of Wivlia glares at you with all the venom she can muster. The spirit of Wivlia glares at you. I'll take your order. The spirit of Wivlia glares at you. Take your order if you're polite. No. Nah. Take your order if you're polite. Help. 
Take your order if you're polite. No. Yeah. I'll take your order if you're polite. No. I'll take your order if you're polite. No. A lifeless elven child is cradled in your arms. Your vision blurs with tears. You look away. To a raised valley below, tendrils of death fog dissipate, revealing a victorious Divine Order army advancing. Humans, magisters, murderers. Wivlia's hatred for you seems to fill every inch of her spectral form. She doesn't say a word. She doesn't need to. See the cook for stew, friend elf. Yeah. I'll take your order if you're polite, elf. No, I right am. Ambition is all. A life of few surprises. See the cook for stew, friend elf. Yeah. Same as before, the spirit remains locked in a shocked trance. The ring. It was right here. On my I'll finger. Order, if you're polite, elf. Something shakes the Magister's ghost from her stupor. Her gaze falls on the ring and brightens. My ring! Your words take a long moment to sink in, like they're being translated for the netherworld. Return it home to my brethren. The spirit smiles at you. If it weren't for the circumstances, it'd be almost heartwarming. I'll take your order if you're polite, elf. Nah. When genius is average, the cream always the rises. Is due, friend, Ambition elf. is all. My inkwell is dry. Fetch me some right more. Away. The Magister's jaw is tightly clenched as he stares out of the window. He senses you. What? Well? What are you waiting for? Tell me! What? The bloody cook? It can't be. Whoa, well, why did Higba have that contraband then? Then he's still guilty of something. I'm not calling off the manhunt until I have that fiend one way or another. As for this cook, do you have any proof? The Magister snatches the note and peers at it. These names, they're the ones who went missing. And others. My name is on here. The cook's been reported dead. How did you get this? Never mind, I thought she was another victim, but this... She must have been the culprit. 
He shudders in disgust. And to think she was so near to us, to me, all this time. It seems I owe you my thanks and a reward. He holds out a pouch of gold. You try to take it, but he doesn't yet relinquish his grasp. With his free hand, he wags a finger in your face. Keep this ugliness to yourself. I wouldn't want it thought that we magisters can't solve our own problems without throwing gold about. He lets go of the pouch and turns away. Bellwether, I need those reports, yes, damn it. Right away. Elsa, my inkwell is dry. Fetch me some right more. Away. Wait until headquarters hears of my success, and perhaps I'll be promoted. No more disappearances, no more deaths. It seems justice has been served well. The Magister takes the ring from you. This was a conduct award. I gave it to Magister Harrick myself. She showed great promise. He stoically nods his thanks and turns away from you. I need those reports, yes, damn it. Right away. No more disappearances? No more de Of course not. The likes of him was bound to be guilty of something. Good riddance. My inkwell is Corsa. dry. Fetch me some right more. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, if they got nothing to hide, they got nothing to hide. Yeah, do. Yeah. I'll take your order if you're polite, elf. No, right now. I got a right to live, don't I? Throw him in a hole for all I care. It's the greater good. I'll take your order, if you're polite, elf. Nah. I'll take your order, if you're polite, elf. An empire built upon no, the right of slaves does not deserve the latest breath of praise. See the cook for the stew, friend the elf. And nah. I'm telling you, you cannot to extricate yourselves from death. See the cook for stew, friend elf. Rises. Nah. I'll take your order if you're polite, elf.
I've spotted something. Look at that. A fresh face. Shrewd and sophisticated. Like any true lizard. Welcome be, Governor. Take a load off and enjoy Effie's plunder down under. Good to meet you, Governor. What's your poison then? A sip or a smoke? Aye, so it is. But not just any Drudenay. Oh no. My own special blends. Further down's the arena, see? And the gladiators are always on the lookout for... an edge. I give them that edge. You could say that my darling herbs flower in the flesh and blossom in the brain. So, if you're interested, Governor, all you have to do is use your imagination. How can I make you bloom? Take all the time you need. Pleasure doing business with you, Governor. Mercy, mercy. Majesty, you live. Oh, much have I prayed to seven blessed Zolstissa that she would keep you safe. My praise is my pride, your highness. Many long hours I have passed here, waiting for your royal self to break through the smoke. 
I must speak with you, Red Prince. I must speak with you of Bramos the Wanderer. Indeed, Great Prince, but... but... He looks around the hazy room with hasted eyes. The House of Shadows stirs. You are a famed warrior, sire. Alas, the Honorable Bramos is not. He sensed them closing in and had no choice but to flee from Driftwood. A little ways east he went, in search of safety, to an encampment of paladins. You will find him there, Majesty. And with that, I have told my tale. Seven protect me. Prince of Princes, I am humbled and grateful. He bows deeply, as reverently as one would before a god.
is a dwarf. Tigers fly, the leopards lie, and you, and you, oh! But I know you, don't I? I have seen you in the night, rudderless among the drowned. Just a dream, of course, just a dream. Hail, stunning creature. Call me Dorothea. She draws close. You feel her breath on your neck, hot, moist. Mmm. Oh, yes. I have something that you want. But I only bargain with those I deem deserving, those who have accomplished great things. So tell me, are you worthy of my gift? Oh dear, you assume your reputation precedes you, and I'm afraid that I can't honor such idle bragging with my favors. Surely you've accomplished something of note. Indeed. Hmm. This is acceptable. You are nearer the one than most self-described heroes I've known. So, tell me, are you ready for me to grant you your greatest desire? I see the questions scurrying through your head. It's worrying too much and wandering too far. If you show yourself to me, I will show myself to you. You have a need to expose it. Look into my ring and tell me what you see there. Gaze into the gem, scaled one. She flashes her ring at you and you stare at the luminescent stone at its center. You are floating on a current of pure source, surrounded by a kaleidoscope of colors and fuzzy images. On the horizon looms a dark silhouette. As you approach, a beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you... I see you clearly now. 
You desire wealth. To wear the finest silks and drape yourself in jewels. I will fulfill this desire. In return, I ask for one thing in return. A kiss. Most delicious. Meet me around the corner and come alone. An audience is not required. Kibs at war. Hail, stunning creature. Call me Dorothea. She draws close. Mm. Are you worthy of my gift? Oh, Safa. Too inebriated to keep her lips tight. Not inebriated enough to slip into blackness. Then let us skip the niceties. I can fulfill your... Don't misunderstand me. I'm not a genie from your lizard sagas, but I can expose the need that gnaws at your bones. All you have to do is look into my ring and tell me what you see there. Gaze into the jet... She flashes her ring at you. On the horizon looms a dark silk... Mmm, yes. I see... Mmm. It is knowledge you crave. You want scholars to bow in your presence, begging for truth in an age of lies. I will fulfill this desire. In return, I ask for a kiss. Dorothea sighs, a fusion of a kitten's purr and a cockroach's clacking. Ah, <sighs> for me to help you, our souls must touch. And a kiss brings our souls closer, does it not? It shall fulfill both your desire and mine. Most delicious. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dorothea sees you and heaves a shuddering sigh. She bites into her lower lip with enough force that a drop of blood seeps out. Blood and something else. Something green. Darling, I admit I wish we could share more carnal pleasures. Yet I think a kiss is the height of intimacy. Now come closer and receive your soul's desire. You draw closer and close your eyes, eager to feel her lips on yours. Yet her lips do not press against yours, and her hands do not caress your face. She is a woman no longer, but a were-spider. Her fang painlessly sinks into your neck. You still hear her words, though they sound muffled, as if filtered through a glass wall. The knowledge you needed is now yours. My venom penetrates your mind and lifts your senses. We part ways now. I'll remember this moment. Hail, darling. Call me Dorothea. She draws close. You feel her breath on your neck. Hot. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Are you worthy of my gift? assume something as fleeting as your appearance is surely you've accomplished something of note indeed hmm this is acceptable you have proven cleverness that has eluded driftwoods well I won't say great minds, but minds, at least. So tell me. Are you ready for me to grant you your greatest desire? Oh, I see through your shell, dwarf. You want more than booze and brawls. You have a need. Gaze into the gem. She flashes her ring. On the horizon looms a dark silhouette. As you approach, a beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you... Mmm, yes. Mmm, it is power you seek. To conjure maelstroms and command the light to drive away shadow. I will fulfill this desire. A kiss. Most delicious. 